inclement weather and that someone would take the time who really didn't have to, but to show us as trustees, faculty, and employees that they both care very much for what is going on in our lives. Oh, forgot that just happened last month. Um, I did go to the new trustees um, training and uh, went to all the different classes that they offered in the uh, guidelines that they suggested for new trustees and uh, learned a lot. So thank you. Thank you. OK, Tony, you're up. Um, since last month, uh, I attended my first, and this is a long one, the Stanislaus County School Board as Members Association. Um, I got to meet the new county superintendent um, and meet all the members of the association. So um, I'm looking forward to working with them and learning everything the association does, but more specifically to promote our MJC and our colleges to all the board members and a 12 education system. Um, also, I attended the new trustees conference in Sacramento with Nancy and our chancellor and most of the board members. And it was a uh, really great experience to get to know other board members and just kind of freshen up on our Brown Act and just all the new trustees and the new roles. So I'm looking forward to learning and going to other conferences. Thank you. Ann. Okay, thank you. Um, I attended uh, at MJC the President Forums, and um, I also attended the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce event, and I know Tony and Nancy went, and Leslie will remember to say it. But I forgot about that. I know, okay, but he was there. And um, I also had the opportunity to attend the Chinese Association New Year celebration. It, on Sunday, and I got to sit next to Chancellor Yang. It's the year of the pig and gung hei fat choy. Okay, and <laughs> thank you. And on Monday, we had a policy and procedures meeting. And one thing that that's very dear to me, and I think has been a tremendous benefit to this district, is having you, Steve, come and fill that interim position. It we're very honored to have you. I have heard so many wonderful comments that you were the right person for this time, and we're really indebted to you. Thank you for, for being willing to come back. Um, Abe. My turn. I also attended um, the uh, Institute Day for MJC. I uh, had a couple of, attended a couple of MJC basketball games and unfortunately our women are not doing too well as the president will attest to. Um, I spent a couple of meetings with the agenda review group. Uh, I also attended the forums for the MJC president. I uh, attended a, the conference in Sacramento also. Renewed a lot of old acquaintances, acquaintances there. Um, had met with the finance committee a couple times. I attended the VIP JPA risk management meeting in Merced, and uh, I just got back today from the Parma risk management conference in Los Angeles. Um, that's it. Thank you very much, Darren. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, first of all, President Collins, I'll echo what uh, Trustee Andy Martini said. You know, the saying goes that things happen for a reason. And you coming in at the right time, with the right attitude, with the right personality, was what this district and MJC needed. So thank you for stepping up to the plate. I know it was probably not on your bucket list, but 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 we... <laughs> We deeply appreciate it, so thank you very much. And I've heard the same as Ann, I've heard nothing but wonderful accolades from various people, both active and, and retirees, uh, just feedback and also in the community, so thank you very much. Um, 
And then I'd like to add my thanks to everyone in the district for coming together and sitting at the table discussing things that, that, you know, a lot were legacy issues that had been around a long time, setting aside personalities and attitudes and, and settling this, this contract. Um, you, you really put this district in a good position, both now and, and going forward. So Jim and, and Curtis and Gina and Susan and Henry and the presidents, anyone that had anything to do with that, uh, my thanks to all of you, because you really did a great job. So thank you very much. Um, and I want to add my thanks to uh, everyone up at Columbia and Henry. To do that, uh, uh, to come together and focus on one thing, uh, the students, is what we're all about. And it really showed our, our spirit as a district and, and our hearts as, as administrators uh, to step up to the plate and do all that is amazing, so thank you. Um, I too attended the uh, CCLC um, conference up in Sacramento. I attended the uh, 1218 study session. I attended the very important special meeting where we uh, approved the uh, YFA contract. And then I approved the, or excuse me, and then attended the uh, finance committee meeting on uh, February the 4th along with Trustee Rojas. I want to apologize for missing my first meeting on uh, January the 9th, uh, came down with the flu, and that also meant I missed uh, Institute Day at MJC, which I always try to attend, so my apologies for, for missing that. And my final comments, uh, I don't mean to put us on a downer, but I think, uh, you know, sometimes in our, and when we go about our daily lives, we, we forget about our, our main mission. I mean, we don't forget about it. We forget about all, I should say, all the wonderful people that pass through our doors and, and the um, footprints that they leave and all the great accomplishments uh, that, they, that they do while they're here. And I'm talking about students. And one student in particular that I got to know, um, Brian Justin Marks is not here uh, this evening, but he would know this student very well, and some of you may, may have known her. Uh, she was a student in the past. She was coming back to this institution to further her education, uh, but her name was Tara Lynn Peralta, and you may have seen her story in the Modesto B. Um, she was taken from us on, on December 22nd in a horrible accident on Highway 99 uh, near Pellendale. And uh, I got to know her uh, through one of her jobs uh, that she was doing. She worked multiple jobs, and she focused nothing on her two children and, and being an example to her two young sons, uh, ages seven and three, and uh, getting back to school and, and furthering her education and, and being a good provider for, for her two sons. So I just share that. Uh, because we have a lot of great students here, but sometimes we forget their history and, and the great success and the great obstacles that, that they have overcome to, to reach those uh, milestones and successes. So with that, I'll end my comments. So thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I want to echo what everyone has said about Steve. I, he's also at the MJC Foundation board meetings and... It's just been great having you there and getting your take on things. It's been a pleasure. Um, and speaking of the MJC Foundation, you know, we're heading towards our centennial pretty soon. And uh, George wanted me to pass along that he'd be happy to do a study session for the board on the MJC Foundation and all the great work that they do. And uh, I think that would, personally, I would, I would like that. Um, as far as my activities, I went to the Institute Day, the forums, the CCLC trustee conference in Sacramento, and then I stayed for the legislative conference, which is also interesting. Um, we went to the Central Valley Hispanic Chamber of Commerce installation and awards dinner, several study sessions. I feel like I could have my own parking space here this month. 
And then um, the board, you know, the board policy committee meeting uh, and the foundation board, et cetera. But I also wanted to say, you know, Henry told me that he was an international student when he was in college. So he was one of the students stranded at breaks. And we had international students stranded at Columbia, at, at Columbia College. And when I was at Clemson, I, I might as well have been an international student because I only went home at Christmas and um, the summer. So I know what it's like to be you know, one of a handful of students on a big campus. And, and yet, some of those memories are some of my fondest because people pull together. And I know those students who were stuck there and camping out at Manzanita or wherever they were, they're gonna remember that and talk about that the rest of their lives. And they're gonna talk about how the chancellor came up with food and all the other people that came in. And it's, it's gonna be wonderful for them, even though it's hard. They make the, you know, when everything goes well, you forget about it. So not that I don't want things to go well here, just overall. But anyway, so um, thank you very much. And I believe this meeting is um, almost over. Our next regular board meeting is uh, March 13th. And it's up there. I hope you have better weather for us. Because I don't have chains. And um, we look forward to that. And um, we are adjourned. Thank you.